What's up everybody? So, just checking in. I'm here on the homestead. I uh, got a lot of random things set up out here because I got a lot to do. So, um, in the meantime, I wanted to talk to you about um, microgreens. So, I've had a couple videos on microgreens, if you check them out, that'll discuss the, the nutritional value of these things and just the benefits of growing them, etc. Um, and, you know, I had to come to this conclusion when I, when I started this homestead, uh, actually just last week I had to come to this conclusion that, you know, when you think of homesteading, you think of growing a farm, you think of growing vegetables, crops, um, but, you know, you have to ask the bigger philosophical question, you know, and that question is why? So why would I grow vegetables? Well, you know, the first thing I can think of is, well, for nutrients. You know, I want to I eat healthy. Okay, there's that. And then secondly, I think some of it's just because of the ideology or just the, the overall vision you have of what a homestead is. And you say, well, you know, I want to just have this beautiful looking farm and you know, all these greens growing and it just looks good, you know. That's more of the inner reasons that people do it. And I don't think that, you know, if I'm looking at form and function, you know, form would be, you know, the, the appearance of things, you know, like, oh, look at how beautiful my garden looks and, and you know, it's awesome. Function would be, what am I actually growing and can I eat this stuff and is it going to give me the nutrients that I need? Okay, so when I'm looking at the function of, of just growing greens, which right now I'm just at the bare essentials out here, I don't even have running water. I have neighbors that let me have some water, but it's not a lot. So I don't want to be out here pumping water into a garden, you know? So I have to, and I mean have to, look at alternative methods of growing. So if I look at hydroponics, if I look at you know microgreens then you know I start looking at different things and start doing the pros and cons um, one of the main things uh, when you're growing vegetables that is a downside in my opinion is the waiting so right now where I'm at I need to have vegetables I don't get enough I'm out here four to five days a week and I go back home for a couple days I can pack provisions, but as everybody knows, with all the convenience foods nowadays, it really can be hard to eat healthy when you're doing this. It's just so easy to just go to the convenience of, of a dollar store and just buy junk packaged food and just, you know, as you're out here building, you don't feel like cooking and it's just, you know, this, that, and the other. You got a million excuses not to eat healthy. And, you know, one of the things is is just the overall difficulty of starting a garden when you're starting an off-grid homestead. So, knowing what I know, um, I decided that microgreens is the answer. Um, you know, what you're looking at up here is an array of microgreens. I got beets, I've got wasabi, I've got broccoli, I've got mixed salads, I have um, Geez, what else? I have um, tot soy, I have carrots, I have wheatgrass. I have all these different microgreens here. And the beauty is, is that I can harvest most of these between 7 and 14 days. 14 is the maximum. But most of them within 7 days I can harvest. Okay? So that means that what I'll do is I'll chop these up and I'll put them in a bag. I'll wash them real good, put them in a bag. And then I'll put them in the cooler and then I will infuse my food like my eggs because that's mostly what I eat out here with these microgreens and these microgreens contain anywhere from 2 to 40 times yes 40 times the nutrient levels of the adult versions of these vegetables okay and it varies just uh, depending on what you're growing the science is out there read some peer-reviewed uh, journals and, and you'll see 
but this is just it, it's 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 fact okay so you can do the research here and see okay wow microgreens really you get you a big bang for your buck you know as far as just even money wise time wise and you know size wise i mean look at the size here it's just the top of the roof of my car i'm keeping them warm right now because it's been freezing at night and you know i don't have the reason they're on my roof is i don't have a, a garden or, or a, a greenhouse even sorry even set up yet to 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 grow these things so you know this is what i got and right now Within the next couple of days, most of these I can harvest, put them in baggies, and I'm going to have them with my lunch and dinner. So, you know, you start doing the philosophical questions of why, and you start saying, well, what, if I'm truthfully answering those questions, why am I, am I growing these greens? Well, the main reason for me is not for looks, because there's nobody out here to see what I'm doing anyways. It's for function. And the function is, is I want healthy vegetables and food because I'm in my 40s now and I gotta stop eating this junk. And I eat a lot of junk food out here because it's just convenient. I started really backsliding on my diet. That was one of the first things I noticed when I started doing this because I don't have the comforts of home where I get up and go down to the refrigerator. I got my, you know, my kitchen island I can go chop everything up on and put it on the stove etc I mean it's a lot easier when you're doing that um, and even then it's still hard to eat healthy so you know when you're out here doing this type of thing and you know I'm literally sleeping in a freaking tent right now <laughs> and I'm living in my car you know to stay warm and I couldn't even have a fire last night because the winds are blowing like 20 miles an hour you know you're down to the bare essentials and you know you really got to start saying huh why would I want to wait two three months for my you know cabbage or whatever to, to grow full term when I can you know I can literally harness the, the nutritional value of these things in something the size of the roof of my car and I can have it done in less than two weeks so you know this is something to think about if you're going into homesteading and you know if you're about to embark or if you're already doing it really you should look into to microgreens um, you know you can get the seeds I sell the seeds on my website but you can get the seeds you can um, you know you can get the trays you can start these suckers up and you know have them ready to go in two weeks and man you're already off and you know you hit the ground running instead of you know setting up the infrastructure for a garden you know that stuff just takes time now ultimately i'm gonna have a garden because there are benefits to having full-grown vegetables you know like corn and you know some of the fruiting ones like peppers you know you can't you can't grow microgreen peppers you know so and i really like peppers uh you can't grow microgreen tomatoes so you know there's benefits to having those things but right now in the winter i wouldn't be able to grow those things anyways so you know that's something to think about if you're going to go into the homesteading as you can see i have a mess here i'm ultimately going to have a south facing little greenhouse here to grow things but you know it takes time to do this stuff and i want to do it right the first time so that's just going to take time and i don't right now time is not on my side when it comes to eating healthy so i got to go with what i got so have a good day and i'll check in again